Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number five from the October 2022 International A Level Edexcel Statistics S1 paper. Um, this question number five here is about normal distribution. And we're told about the weights W of kiwi fruit grown on a farm, which are normally distributed with a mean of 80 grams and a standard deviation of 8 grams. Okay, so this is how we write that. So got W is such that it's normally distributed N with a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 8. So you put 8 squared there. And then it says the table shows the classifications of the kiwi fruit by their weight, where K is a positive constant. So you've got small, which are divided into tiny and petite, large, extra, jumbo, and mega. These are the categories here. It says one kiwi fruit is selected at random from those grown on the farm. Find the probability that this kiwi fruit is large. Now the large kiwi fruits start from 70 grams. Okay, the category starts. So we got to find the probability that the weight of the, or you could say the mass of the kiwi fruit is greater than 70 grams. That's what we got to find. So what we need to do is we need to kind of... Um, translate or, 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 or we need to convert the 70 grams into the number of standard deviations that is above or below the mean so that we can use our normal distribution table to work out the probabilities. Okay, so 70 grams, if you want to standardize that to make to find out how many standard deviations is above or below the mean, we use the formula Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation and that tells you how many standard deviations something is above or below the mean so we know the mean is 80 and the standard deviation is 8 so we can say that the z score for this first part of the question is 70 minus 80 over 8 so 70 minus 80 over 8 that's going to be negative 10 over 8 Okay, which gives us negative 1.25. That's negative 1.25. So we got to find the probability that the Z value is greater than negative 1.25. And that will be the answer to this question. Now, negative 1.25 does not exist in our table of values. What we do have is what's on the other side symmetrical to it because the normal distribution is symmetrical. We do have the Z value of 1.25 in our table. And we want to find the probability that Z is greater than negative 1.25. Now we can see from the table that the, the probability that Z is greater than negative 1.25 is exactly the same as the probability that Z is less than positive 1.25. They have that same area. This area here is the same as the area where z is less than 1.25 and that's what the table of values give us. So I need to go to the table of values and look for z equals 1.25. So I go to the table of values and look for in the table z as 1.25 and we can see it right here. Let me just take a little snapshot of it, of that section. And there we have Z and 1.25 is 0 0.8944. Okay, so those that is the answer to that question. So we can see here that what we're looking for is right over here. 0.25, 0 0.8944. So our answer, therefore, is the probability that the weight is greater than 70 grams is equal to 0 0.8944. 8943SF, and that's the answer to part A of the question. Now we're going to look at part B. It says 35% of the kiwi fruit are jumbo. Find the value of K to one decimal place. So jumbo um, kiwi fruit in the table are defined as those that are greater than 80 grams and less than K grams. All right now, 80 grams is the mean. So 80 grams is right in the middle here. That's a Z value of zero. And K, of course, is going to be greater than that. Okay, so K is somewhere over here. And we know that the, the proportion of kiwi fruits that are jumbo, that means between 80 and K grams, is 35%. So that area there is 0 0.35. 
that means the area to the right of that k value must be 0 0.15 because that's like half the area is 0 0.5 so that area must be 0 0.15 so we want to find the value of k such that um, that the probability that z is greater than k is equal to 0 0.15 so we want to find what that value is for z which is such that the probability of um, something being above that value 0 0.15 now it seems like that should be able to be found from the other table that we have which is the more exact answers uh, 0 0.15 yes it's here right in this table so we can take this table here and we can take a snapshot from this table and that will help us to give us the answer for this in a more accurate way as well so if we just paste the table over here Okay, we're looking now for 0 0.15 and here this in this table this is the probability in this in this column and the other column is the z value for which that probability is to the right of that z value so here we can see that for this the z value of for the uh, for the probability of 0 0.15 which we're looking for the value of z is 1.03 so this value here for z is 1.0364 so we know that the value of k is therefore equal to 1.03664 okay so now we have to find the value of w the weight such that that's true so we need to kind of like unstandardize our score so this is like our z value 1.0364 it's equal to our actual score minus the mean the mean is 80 divided by the standard deviation, which is 8. So we're just kind of de-standardizing the score now. So x equals 80 plus 8 times 1.0364. So we just find out what that gives us. So 80 plus 8 times 1.0364. That gives us our answer, which is 88.29, 88.2912, which gives you 88.3, um, that's grams, 88.3 grams. That is the value of K such that it's a jumbo size kiwi, 88.3 grams okay that's what k is equal to so there's your answer to part b of this question okay now for part c it says 75 percent of tiny kiwi fruits weigh more than y grams all right so now we have 75 percent of tiny kiwi um, uh, kiwi fruit weigh more than y grams so we have to now focus on the tiny kiwi fruit for which the the, the 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 mass of them is less than 66 grams. So this is where 66 is going to be. There's 80, so it's of course less than the mean. So we look, we know that three quarters of this area weigh more than y grams. So if y is somewhere over here, three quarters of this area weigh more than y grams. So that means um, one quarter of the area, which is 0 0.25 of the area weigh less than y gram so we can say that this is not the percentage from the whole thing this is the percentage of just the, the tiny fruit so we're talking about percentage of just that section here so the first thing we need to do is we need to find the probability that the weight is less than 66 gram that's our sample space that's what we're talking about here because it's 75 percent of that category not of the whole thing so we have to find the probability that the weight is less than 66 or the mass is less than 66 grams Okay, so that means we need to standardize that score. So that's led, Z is less than 66 minus 80 over 8. So we need to find that area first, and that will be our sample space. So we've got to do 66 minus 80 over 8. That gives us minus 1.75. So the probability that Z is less than minus 1.75. So again, we can't find minus 1.75 on our table, but what we can do is we can find positive 1.75 on our table. 
Okay, positive 1.75. And we can see that the probability that we need is the area to the left of minus 1.75, which is the same as the area to the right of 1.75. So that's going to be equal to 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 1.75. Okay, 1 minus the area that Z is less than 1.75 will give you the area to the right of that, which is the same as the area to the left of this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to our table of values and we're going to look for 1.75 on our Z. So we go down to Z and 1.75. Okay, that's over here. So now 1.75 is around here. Yep. Let's take that back to our page. Okay. So now 1.75 is its value is 0 0.9599 as we can see from here so let's highlight that 0 0.9599 so we know that what we're looking for the probability that z is um we can say that w is less than 66 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9599 so we take calculator 1 minus 0 0.9599, which gives us 0 0.0401, 0 0.0401. Okay, that's, make sure we're right there. Good. So that is the probability, okay, of this, that, that W is less than 66. Okay, 0 0.0401. So that is basically the area of all of this section here. That's the area of all of this section here. From 66 all the way back to the beginning, right? Now, we know that the probability that Z... Let me go back to my original color. The probability that Z is less than Y is equal to a quarter of the probability that Z is less than 66 because it says a quarter of those um, tiny, a quarter, seven, a quarter of tiny fruit weigh more than Y grams. That means, uh, th uh, sorry, three quarters of tiny fruit weigh more than Y grams. That means one quarter of tiny fruit weigh less than, okay, uh, that number of grams, okay, Y grams. So what we can do is we have a quarter times the, the number of, the um, tiny fruit. So we, we've already worked out that the, the proportion of tiny fruit is 0 0.0401. So a quarter of that is what we need to find for our area. So that's equal to 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.0401. Let me just work that out. So we have, that's what we had from before. So we've got to do times 0 0.25. That gives us 0 0.010025, 0 0.010205. It's actually another zero. Roughly 0 0.010025. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now we have the probability that Z is less than Y. Now, again, if we look at our curve here, so we want to find what this y is. We know that, that this area here is 0 0.010025. This area here is 0 0.010025. That's that area there. Now, in our table, we don't have negative values. So there's a value here, which is the opposite side, like it's a the positive version of y, and the area to the right of that is 0 0.010025. So here we can actually use the table, the small table, because 0 0.0001025, you can take that as 0 0.01. And there is a value like that in our table. Okay, there is a value like that, 0 0.01 is here in our table, which is 2.363. Looks like that will work. So we take that value and 
paste it there just so we can see it better. So now we're looking for this value of 2.3263. We can use this value because that's close to what we have there. So we can say that, therefore, we can say that um, y is, well, the z or this y value is equal to 2.3263. So now we can find what y is. So we know that the standardized value, which is 2.3263, is equal to the actual value, which is y, okay, minus the mean, which is 80, over the standard deviation, which is 8. So we can say y equals 8 times 2.3263. Two six three, and this is this is by the way a negative value of z. Okay, we want the negative version of z. Okay, because our z value is over here, so that's negative. So don't forget. Yeah, that's negative. So that's eight times negative two point three two six three, and then you're gonna add to that eighty. Okay, so we take that value. So we have eighty minus. 8 times negative 2.3263. And that gives us, one second, there's already a negative there. So that gives us 61.3096. Okay, so 80 minus 8 times 2.3263. Yeah, so that gives us 61.3896, 61.3896, which is 61.4 SF, and that is the value of Y. And that concludes this question. So this last question is a bit more tricky than normal. Here we have to look at the percentage of a part of the whole group, just the ones which are considered to be tiny. We look at the tiny Kiwi, and, and that's our sample space. And we look at the percentage of those. So 75% of those which, which weigh more than Y. That means 25% of them weigh less than Y. So we take that proportion, 25% of that you know, section. And then we use that to find the value of Z. And that answers this question number five from uh, October 2022 S1. Um, other questions from this paper can be found on the playlist that will appear at the top of the page over here, at the end of the video. Other questions from normal distribution from S1 will be found by clicking on the link down here, and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.